my name is Ken Valdez. And we are doing, well, this presentation is. Ms. Donnie, you should choose our play because. Okay, Ms. Donnie, you should choose our play because. This is the chocolate affair. <laughs> and this is the best play you can ever find. Okay. Like, seriously. Look at that, it's easy, and you can <laughs> choose it, and you can play it in 10 minutes, and people are amazed. It's just amazing how easy and cheap it is to perform it. It's, it takes 10 minutes to perform, so it's not a long, and you don't have to be in theater for two hours. Oh, I have to pee, I need a cocktail, oh lord, and so on. It's 10 minutes, you look it, it's fun, and you will die for it. You want to see it again. So. Okay. <laughs> About the playwright. Our playwriter for this play is um, Stephanie, Stephanie Allison Walker, but her real name is Suzanne Shulman. She was born in 1975, and she's still living. And I, she lives in, um, well, she lives, well, she's, She's actually from suburbs of Chicago. But she's but classified as a Midwestern. Yes, and at the moment, she lives in Los Angeles. She's married with kids. And um, she's still writing now, but you know, she's not really out there as much as she was before. And I think after this play that she wrote, she did get a mini award for it. Please face your mouth to the audience. So five facts about her. Well, her real name is Susan Schumann. And in 2009, her, her, mother, her and her husband moved to a rural island and got married. And she also wrote the blog for two years when, she, when they were uh, living in the rural, rural island. And she also has a dog named Pablo. <laughs> uh, and actually, fun fact about the chocolate play, it was actually published in the bath while she was taking a bath. Yeah, she was yes. being creative around that time. Yes. A little bit more about the play. Uh, like I said before, it's only 10 minutes. Uh, it has three char characters, so you only need three actors because they're on the set on the same time. You cannot do it with two actors or one actor only. Um, what else to add? Oh, yeah, the characters we chose uh, for Beverly, who's the lady on the play. Uh, she's quite depressed because when she was young, she was really fat and she describes herself as a young girl. She basically describes herself but as a second. Yes, during the play. So, her name is Beverly, and we chose Scarlett Johansson. The mm -hmm. Mr. Good Bar. There is two chocolate pe uh, people over there. Yeah. One is Mr. Good Bar, who is played by Jim Carrey, and the second one is Emma Dem. Is by Ben Stiller. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be a good combination <laughs> of the actors. So, basically, uh, yeah, like I said, it is just easy performance and quick laugh. How much will it cost you? To grade the whole play, it would cost you 4733 dollars. <laughs> So, there's one problem with the budget. It is over, <laughs> it is over budget only $1,369. No worries, we can find the money. Uh, uh, where? Uh, there's a lot. I fair, think. Do the fair shares and the $500 donation. Yeah, about that. And um, it's only so much money because we have to get printing for the poster, then on top of that costume, set designing, and makeup, and really the wardrobe shouldn't be a big issue because 
everything is in one place. So all you would need is just like a few items. That would be so much. The actor it, uh, herself, the big uh, Beverly, she has to be dressed up really well. But them and them and Mr. Gerfar, we have to play it. Okay, thank you. Judges, do you have questions? <laughs> Um, How much are the tickets? <laughs> tickets are five to ten dollars. It depends on the location. For the ten minutes of performance? Yes, but it's a high class show. <laughs> <laughs> we want upper class to look at the shows because it's a quick laugh, and some people do not know how to behave when they're in theater, and we do not. Want no. <laughs> <laughs> what are you spending all that money on? Uh, the biggest expenses are printing out the tickets and the show bills. Uh, also, uh, for a 10 minute play. <laughs> yes. What if, what if people show up late as they tend to? What's the, what's the audience demographic? Who's coming? Who's coming? Um, Mayor Jewish Academy is coming. Oh. <laughs> and um, people who shop at like Publix, Whole Foods, and Panera Bread are also coming. All of them? Yes. Not all of them, but, but like. The majority of them. Hopefully. <laughs> what are the small businesses you chose? Okay, if you're done grading, get out. Sorry, what what do you mean, small like, the, you like the little market? What are the small businesses you've chosen? I only chose one small business. It was an um, oriental food market. And we also did a barber shop and a hair salon. And how do they build your demographic? What type of barber shop is it? Please stop talking, audience members. Judges, do you have questions? Um, why did you decide to choose this play? Like, what motivated you to do this play? I actually, if I go to the theater, I like quick and easy plays, and they're quick laugh. I really enjoy comedies. And also, I like chocolate, so it sounds good. <laughs> now, it's the chocolate affair, but you cast an all-Caucasian cast. <laughs> <laughs> Any reason for that? script specify that the actors have to be Caucasian? Mm -hmm. How do I get my thousand dollars back? <laughs> actually, I better do what? Actually, you don't have to invest it. We can find investors. So why why am I listening to this presentation? This is the main part of it. 